So, I'm here at Lincoln, and I'm making a part one and a part two. I'll probably the Explorer. I'd have to check again just to make sure, but uh, it's actually smaller than I expected it to be. I thought this thing was going to be bigger. 2.3 liter EcoBoost all-wheel drive. Okay, so at least they have all-wheel drive, but I think they couldn't make one of these things without it. Okay, so basically, this is actually, um, all of the materials are the exact same materials that you get in the uh, Lincoln MKS or the Lincoln MKZ. I can already see that. There's not a lot of leg room back here, and I'm pretty sure that after I adjust the chair for myself, there will be even less. So, um, I'm pretty sure reviewers are going to have a field day making uh, light of the leg room back here. You can already see, I put, I only put the back seat as far back as possible, but I didn't even put the seat back yet, and you can already see there's like no space back here. So that, that is going to definitely net them some, they're going to lose a couple of points for that. But then again, I, I'm guessing that this segment isn't really expected to have a lot of real leg space, but, um, it's not, it's not exactly as big as I expected it to be. They have a power lift gate. Let's see what the cargo size looks like. Hmm. Yeah, this is, um, looking at this, this, this actually reminds me of the size of possibly an Escape. And it comes with a spare tire, so that's really nice. Has a tire inflator, I think, that is over there. And it looks like there's a couple of tools missing. Obviously some rugs, and it has like one of these pullbacks. Pullbacks for uh, covering up your stuff so people don't come in your car and steal your shit while you're at uh, Walmart. Where's the button? Uh, okay, so it has the button. You push the button, and it closes. Hmm. It, uh, it's a nice-looking car. It definitely looks a hell of a lot better than the MKT. Uh, the MKT looks horrible, but uh, nice-looking car. Definitely nice looking. I mean, it looks just like all the other Lincolns. Now, this is obviously something where you wouldn't be expecting to have a very powerful engine in it. So, you know, you won't be very disappointed when you don't get one. So, what's this say? The price of one of these things starts at 35,595. 35, so that's where it starts. Then you have options in here totaling about 8,795. So the total price you come out to is about 44540 Probably not that bad, but of course it all depends how much do you like the name Lincoln and what are you willing to pay. So what do we have? We have, uh, this one has navigation, panoramic roof, um, so all of those options came out to 6935 and then they had the engine for 1140 So I'm not sure what the options are, but... I'm guessing that one of the options is probably the uh, V6 from the uh, uh, last MKS. So let me get in it and sit down and see how I fit. But um, so far so good. It doesn't have one of those outrageous price tags. Because I think after, after they realized that the only people who were buying MKSs were buying them mostly for fleet sales or, you know, a couple of retirees. I guess they realized that they couldn't keep knocking people's dicks in with these prices. But if they haven't realized it, they really should. So we have a power. There's a power push pad. And what is this? Okay, so they have the light system over here. Let me see if I can see the lights. Oh, the lights. Uh, oh, okay. It has uh, daytime running lights. Okay, so, uh, so far so good. It's pretty nice. It's got that multi-tiered running light. That's pretty cool. It's got those really small slit lights like Jeep SRT. Eh. It's amazing how quickly this thing came to market after being at the auto show, and yet, um, you know, they really didn't announce it much yet. I guess maybe they're going to wait and make some commercials or something. I don't know. Let me sit in the seat, see how it feels. I'm going to give a full look around before I drive the thing, just like I did for my Hyundai Sonata review. But um, material is okay. I mean, pretty much everybody has, like, very similar materials. I like this... Uh, I like this quilted suede around here, that's nice. This reminds me a lot in texture of the uh, S-Class, 
so I'm guessing it might this might be synthetic I don't know but um, nowadays they say they don't really tell you you're not getting real leather but uh, you know that's how it is but the materials are okay I'm a little upset that they haven't figured out a way to make a better steering wheel so that it's not plasticky but hey that's what it is but it's the price isn't so high that you wouldn't want one this is nice wood it feels like a I don't know. Well, it's not glossy, but it, it, it looks okay. Chrome trim looks okay. Okay, so this is me sitting inside an MKC. And right now, I'm very disappointed. I'm very disappointed because the driver's seat doesn't feel like it goes low enough. If you're a short person, which I guess maybe that's their demographic. It's a bunch of short women. If you're short then you probably wouldn't have a problem. But my problem is, okay, yeah, I'm a tall guy, so I guess maybe I'm not in a demographic, so I'll give them a pass. The thing about it is the driver's seat doesn't go low enough, and the steering wheel is just, the steering wheel is just reaching, like, my, it's just reaching my, um, my knees. So, um, I'm sitting pretty high in this. This, this could never be a car for me. I'd never consider this because of how I'm sitting in it. But, um, what you got? You got the uh, same system that you see in the MKZ. You got that push. Um, not only do you have a push button start, the push button starts right there, but you have the uh, push button transmission, I should say. So uh, basically, what they're, you know, uh, one thing about these push button transmissions, I really like having the mock shift stick instead of, you know, uh, these paddle shifters are still plastic. They didn't learn anything. Meanwhile, Chrysler gives you metal magnesium shifters, but in any event, one thing about these uh, push-button transmissions is like it, everything's electric now. You got electric steering, you got automatic uh, transmissions. It's almost like them telling you that they don't really want you driving anymore. It's like there, there's a run to make Google uh, robotic cars that drives themselves, but they're basically it seems like they're trying to tell you they don't want you to really have control over the car anymore. I don't know if this car has the same system that the MKZ has, where it'll steer itself straight on uh, what is it called on straight paths because the MKZ actually has the ability to not drive itself but steer itself since uh, it has that uh, lane departure um, system and it also has electronic steering and it also has the ability to park itself and yada 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 so this car probably has that it's a nice car one of my family members is gonna buy one of these and that's the absolute truth one of them right now has a uh, Lincoln LS and uh, she's held on to that LS for a while and she's been waiting for this truck so um, she, she's definitely gonna buy this so um, once she does I'll be able to get like a full thorough view when I take it from her and borrow it you know of course you can't leave any dents on your relatives car but um, so far so good I mean it's nice what kind of buttons you got up here uh, lighting, lighting buttons, uh, you got these light buttons right there. Uh, it's nice. Yes, it is. It's a very nice, it's a very nice car so far. This is the power sunshade button, power sunshade down, power sunshade up, another light button, um, window off. I guess that's a window lock switch. This is the, um, window sunroof if you want to vent. This is to take the sunroof back, and this is to take the sunroof forward. Yeah, I like walking you through the whole car, because this way, like, my uh, viewers in Saudi Arabia, with all that oil money, they can see everything, too. When you start it up, the Lincoln logo comes on, and it displays the odometer, 41.3. No key detected. Okay, so it actually tells you all that? Yay. Yay for you. I hate the fact these things sing to you. Last thing I'm going to mention, they have a line in jack down here. Let me see if I can get it turned back on. They have a line in jack, a SD card reader, they have two USB ports, and they have a 12 volt. So, obviously, all that is hooked into the god awful sync system. But uh, one thing I can say that you'll like is the fact that now they have a power button. They have a, they have a bunch of buttons that are real buttons now. So it's not all uh, that touch panel nonsense. So a lot of you will probably love that if you're Lincoln uh, loyalists and you're upset that Chrysler has a way better and superior system in Uconnect Touch. So, um, you know, if, if 
sync was something that caused you to not want to buy a Lincoln, now it's not a problem.